Enjoy my legion of spiders, you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> God, what an evil eight-year-old, man! <laughs> All right, puppers, welcome back to Klonoa, to 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 Klonoa, door to Phantom Isle. We are in the restored Forlock Forest. Look at all these plants sprouting. It's kind of what I want the backyard to look like. <laughs> <laughs> Just all come alive. Just Julie Andrews dancing in the middle. Yeah. The hills are alive. My God, that video of just her with like the, the machine semi. guns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, how the hell do people think of this stuff? I'm so glad they do. With the sound of music. La, 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 la. They're just like, there are some just stupid videos that I can't help but love. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. And so is the tuxedo mask transforming to yep. milkshake. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just like, God bless the algorithm sometimes. <laughs> There was one, I, I'm pretty sure I watched it a thousand times, of this kid just like running directly into the wall. And okay. like, he like sticks there for a minute before he falls off and it's so funny. I don't even know why. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. Well, all right then. All right, so we freed this guy and Klano Klonoa. Joka is like, ah. Curses! Foiled again! Joka's very much like the villain of a Saturday morning cartoon. Okay. I'll get you next time, He-Man! <laughs> I am not nice! I love Skeletor memes. You got those little spider guys, they shoot like... pellets out their abdomen or something like that. That is not what I thought you were gonna say. Pellets out their ass! <laughs> Was, was that what you thought I was going to I was say? like, that's a bold move. <laughs> bold move. But now we got the gondolas working. Like, we went into your work today, mm -hmm. and your one coworker was wearing a shirt of a kielbasi <laughs> killing the coronavirus. Yep. And all I could think of was they should make ones with the other food groups. Yep. And now all I can picture is a corn cob shooting corn like a machine gun yeah. at the coronavirus. Is it like Spongebob when he's like, grabs the snowball and he's like, ah! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it's just like, it's his little, his, his corn kernels. Do it. All right, so now these Moo guys, they have armor. So you, you can't just grab them. You have to destroy their armor with another enemy before you can grab them. I'm gonna make a poster of it, of the corn cob killing the coronavirus, and I say, listen to this corny poster and wash your hands. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this corny poster here and wash your hands. All right, care careful. Yep, there we go. And we rescued one of the villagers. For you see, these are my village people. The village people? Yep. YMCA. Y-M-C-A, it's fun to stay up for Y-M-C-A. You sound like Herbert. That's, that was the point, because he actually sings that song. Yeah. Y-M-C-A, it's fun to stay up for Y-M-C-A. Oh my god, they fly. The Listen, if spiders way. flew, I'd be done. I think there's like one Burn flying spider out there, and I bet you could guess where it lives. Australia. Yep. Only in Australia. God, that video of like a guy cleaning his ass. Oh, and those big ass and legs. Those just, just just legs nope. go. Funk, funk, funk. Listen, if there's ever a spider that makes me hear. <laughs> you own the house. <laughs> you are the new homeowner. See, you say you're the new homeowner. I'd be like, bitch, where's rent? <laughs> We can co-live, but you gotta pay. Nothing that has legs that can do pays rent. I'm not <laughs> I'm not pissing that off. It's not like the beautiful orb we were where I'm just like, so here's your contract. Just remain six feet and you can destroy all the pests. <laughs> Have a nice day. She was so pretty. She was pretty. I'm like 90% certain you're dead. I older. know, I know. Or she had an egg sack and just crawled away so no one would see her die. 
That was so sad when that happened. Because that's the type of spider I had when I was little, and I kept her in the jar, and she, like, built a nest, mm -hmm. and then she died. And my mom saw it and made me throw it away before the babies were born. <laughs> abort! Abort! <laughs> <laughs> what if you went to the abortion clinic with an egg sack? I have to give you egg my sack? egg sack! Excuse me? <laughs> just, like, this crying eight-year-old. <laughs> and then just, like, show them the egg sack and be like, we, we don't take these. Just poke it and like thousands of them just pour out. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy my legion of spiders, you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, what an evil eight year old man. <laughs> I don't even think I was eight yet. I was in like intermediate school. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was like right between middle school. Alright, so this is what happens when elementary. he dies. Aww. I surrender. <laughs> Waves the white flags. Waves his little white flag. I surrender. But yeah, I think it'd be funny to unleash a legion of spiders at like a clinic. <laughs> and like, to match your story, I said the abortion clinic. Although any clinic will do. <laughs> any clinic will do. Just be like, hey, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with my sack. You're what? See? You poke it. Just thousands of them pour out. <laughs> now feed my children. Feed upon them. They'd be like, where's mama's body? That's our first meal. Which is true. Yeah, I've heard that. They feast on the flesh of their mother. <laughs> That's okay. That's like seeing uh, scorpions, how they have like their young on their backs. Yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> no, thank you. There's another one that is like, the mother is still alive while the baby is eating her. Ew. And like, they will continue to carry their children until they're dead. That's creepy. I know there's a wasp that will kill a tarantula, lay its eggs on it, and the, the babies yeah, will eat, eat the, the tarantula. Yeah, eat the corpse, yeah. And the thing is, the tarantula's paralyzed. It's not dead. Oh. And I'm just like, damn, nature, you scary. <laughs> I mean, really though, <laughs> like, that's messed up. That's just how it goes. Like, you read about some of the things these creatures do, and it's just like, man, it's horrible. And it's just like, yeah, well, animals are pretty fucked up, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to excuse, like, the, the sins of man. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> we need to keep an eye on, we like... We still need to acknowledge our non-mammalial friends. <laughs> Like, they do some crazy shit where it's just like, oh, yeah. What is that? It's, just eating it wasn't enough? <laughs> it's not a capybara. It's like a really cute little animal that, like, smiles. The sloth? No. They have, like, little tiny bear ears and, like, a mousy like face. <sighs> I was going to say the platypus, but you said mouse like face. No, they're like, mammal. Shoot. It's a mammal. They're, I think they're a part of the rodent family. Um. I know they're in Australia. See what I mean? This guy's like s shooting these spike balls, so I can't get close to him. But it, it's funny be yeah. because ha! they are so shy uh -huh. that like if the mother or father senses danger or they get scared, they'll throw their baby at the predator to get away. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that takes me back to when we wanted to like design a kangaroo that chucks the that joey. That just chucks the joey. Yep. But we were talking about like, which I don't think we ever answered. Would the joey be ferocious about it? Like, ah, or would it be terrified? Like, mama, no. <laughs> it depends on what kind of game we're going for. Like, are these all like demonic beasts or is it kind of quirky to where like, similar to like Paper Mario, if there was like a kangaroo enemy that chucked the baby, the baby would be like, ah. <laughs> the baby would be just as startled as you would be. No, mama, no. <laughs> Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this, Mama said. <laughs> <laughs> you just picture this like, now that should be in our stop motion. <laughs> just like, the, for, forget the game. The, ca the kangaroo's gonna be in our stop motion short, and like, it's just gonna be the Mama chucking the Joey, and it goes in slow motion, and the baby Mama goes, said Mama there. said there'll be days like this, there'll be days like this, Mama said. And the, the, the Joey's just like airborne and it's in slow motion. Mama said there'll be days like this, there will be days like this, my Mama said. Oh my god. 
See, we're getting it all together. We got two jokes already. Two jokes. Yeah, now all we need is a script. <laughs> <laughs> Storyboards. And clay. The clay. <laughs> Like, I have clay, but it's air-dry clay, so as soon as we sculpt it, it's yes. done. We need, <laughs> so we need, we need molding Play -Doh. clay. We need Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go buy some Play-Doh. Go for it. Or make it. You can make some Play-Doh. Show some screenshots at the end of some of our playthroughs about work in progress. Or, like, that could be much similar to, like, the little cactus. It'd be like, hey, this is us making one of our miniatures. One of our Only models. I would definitely try to do it better. Like, half the footage didn't turn out for a little cactus. Mm -hmm. Like, my phone died halfway through one. I'm, I, I'm still and very I, satisfied with, like, the final. Yeah, like, I, I definitely, I like how he came yeah. out. Um, but it was just, like, that was the first time I tried to, like, video such a long process especially like i sculpted in three different areas so it was like well something i noticed about you and you're not gonna like this too much but oh here boy. we go is when it comes to like crafts and like making things you're like i'm gonna find a way to make this work i'm gonna do it whether it's like arts and crafts paintings drawings you're probably seeing where this is going but when it comes to photoshop i like, fucking I, hate it i don't know how it works Beats me! I'm like, well, there's tutorials. Like, nope, nope, can't, can't be done. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> all, you, all you gotta do is that's a mask. What I, that's what I have you for. What is this blasphemy? Nope, nope, can't be done. I'm, I'm no, like, like you're I'm... such the opposite in how you approach like a digital design <laughs> to like a craft. Like a craft is just like it will be done. I'll find a way. <laughs> Raz, it's just like, wouldn't it be easier? Really, really? It feels like it would just okay. ruin the whole production. Well, keep in mind. <laughs> I have classical training on how to use my hands to create artworks and crafts and like sculpt things. Okay. I have zero <laughs> training on computers. But like when I'm like, just like none. Well, you just changed the color. Well, where, where is that at? Oh, with hue and cat saturation. Why is that so complicated? <laughs> you sound like my mother. <laughs> No, like I get there eventually. I do like, get there eventually. I was teaching her the, about the one like, thing a program, that, like, I was just like the one oh, thing that confuses me. You though. hit this button to minimize, and the computer stores it. Well, I want it back. Okay, well you just hit the button again. Well, why did it take it? It didn't take <laughs> it, Mom. It minimized the screen. That's funny. <laughs> but like, no, I do get there eventually. What, what, like, when I get like, really, why is that so difficult? Is whenever you use terms I don't know. Okay. So like, when you're like, oh, put a mask on it. I don't know what that means. That's fair. So, or you're like, I'm trying to think of other, uh, oh, when you were talking about like canvas sizes, uh -huh. like you were like, oh, do you know the canvas size for this? Um, unless it's an actual can canvas, like stretched over mm -hmm. wood. No, <laughs> I don't. But it's just the kind of defeated attitude you have. Where it's just like, well, that's the best it's going to be. I, <laughs> that's all I can do. <laughs> and I'm just like, that's such the opposite of how you approach any other craft. So it's like I I'm think very, I can redo this and do better. I'm, I'm just like, very, I'm very MacGyver when it comes to like, <laughs> like building something in like three dimensions in real life. I'm just like, oh no! You see, if we chew gum and just like some rubber bands and yeah. like, <laughs> fuck that with computers. I don't know what <laughs> any of that shit means, and it doesn't help that I have a program that's 20 years old. Uh -huh. So like, I'll try to Google it, and it's like, oh no, it has like a button with a picture, and I'm like, mine has no pictures. I don't have pictures. <laughs> I'm going to need a little more than the picture. <laughs> so. All right. But you'll try to direct me using yours and you yes. have the newest one. So yeah, it's, one of the newer ones. Yeah, yep. so it's like, you're like, oh, it's on the left side of this over here. And I'm just like, I don't have that. It doesn't exist over here. <laughs> and then I show you, you're just like, too many buttons. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like all of the, all of the buttons. I mean, I'm uh, getting better. I know you're getting better. I just but I, find I do. it funny that you're just like, that, I'm, that's the best no, it's going to be. I am way more and open. I've never heard you say that with like <laughs> cooking. No, I'll, or... I'll find a way. Um, I like, I feel like I'm getting better with the Photoshop elements of like okay. trying to make it better. Like, oh, that didn't turn out the way I want it. So let's try again doing something different. What you're I better struggle with the guide. The I know most... with thumbnails, you're like, well, that's a thumbnail. So that's, that's all it's going to be. Well, because it's a different program. Too much, too much work for a thumbnail. <laughs> Too much work for a goddamn thumbnail. Like, I'm not putting two hours in on a thumbnail. Are you kidding me? 
okay, people. So he'll go, that's too busy for a thumbnail. There's too much going on. So I simplify and he goes, well, we, we haven't used the animals in a thumbnail for a while. Yep. And I'll also be like, hey, why is that so small? <laughs> you got all this empty space. You can't see it because it's a thumbnail. If people pull it up on their phone, they'll be like, what the fuck is that? And then I scream internally. <laughs> it's um, not that internal because like I see the face. <laughs> But the program I use for thumbnails doesn't have any of that. So I would have to make the thumbnail in Photoshop and yeah. then upload it to the program uh -huh. I use for thumbnails. Too many steps. Too many steps. Too many steps. I can right. simplify it. I can make it work. So, Puppers, <laughs> what you have to do is leave comments like, if she fixes the thumbnail, we'll watch more episodes. Oh, shut up. Because she reads the comments. She I do. She responds I to the comments. I read and respond to the comments. She responds to them more <laughs> than I do. Cause I'm just like, oh, cool. Well, I only comment. respond to the ones that like, you tell me are up. there because I don't get notifications when we get comments. Right. So if I don't respond to your comment, it's his fault. He didn't tell me it was there. It's all his fault. <laughs> <laughs> but you can always go on to my channel that I respond from, Mando of Popcorn, mm -hmm. and leave a comment there somewhere because then I'll get notified. Yeah. It has zero followers. You don't have to like follow that one. No, follow you don't have Popcorn. To follow. Um, but that's just so that I can respond. Um, since I'm not technically logged in to, like, the popcorn site. Just say things only like, well, it, they're great episodes, but, I mean, in future seasons, if you could just put those thumbnails. <laughs> you know what? I run the thumbnails by you every time, and I get, you yeah, do. that's good. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is fine. But the one program that I absolutely hate. All right, let's hear it. Is making videos. Making videos, okay. And I understand that. And I feel like I would like it better if it was a different program or okay. a more responsive program. Because, again, I use an older program. It's very limited. And I don't think the computer that I bought is necessarily designed gotcha. for it. Okay. No, you make a good yeah, point. I hate And, like, videos. I've seen you get very frustrated with videos. And I'm just like, okay, this is clearly not fun anymore. I'll, I'll take over the editing. This is fine. So all of the like real real shoddy videos, you're welcome. That was me. <laughs> what can she say except <laughs> you're welcome? You know the ones where it's like I make a joke and then like three solid seconds later the meme pops up. You know it's not like right on cue. It's a little delayed. Okay. You're Check welcome. out these guys. Like little flutter chameleon dragons. Okay. So anyways, now that we got that tangent aside, we were able to laugh at it and it was uh -huh. adorable. Don't worry, the gonna cameras go off eventually. You're going to be plotting my <laughs> We're in the driveway, and that's where all conversations end. <laughs> well, no. Now I'm going to be rethinking every time I go, hey, is the thumbnail okay? And you say, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to be like, is it, though? <laughs> is it fine? All right. Well, I'll, I'll be more specific then. Like, I'll be less afraid to be like, I don't like that aesthetic, and just be more like, no, this is really cool. Like, when you did... All the thumbnails and like that one style and I'm like change the one for quest for Camelot. I don't like that. And you did like the Kaylee with yeah. like the bigger letters. That just looked more appealing to me. Whereas everything else looked like popcorn movies. Yeah. So so like we're we're getting to like every series has its own distinct look. Trying to anyway, yeah. That's that's my goal. Like as as long as everything has a distinct look and like things aren't too small to where like I'm on my cell phone, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Well, I mean, like, I feel like you're not going to win with a cell phone thumbnail. Okay. Because they're all small. Okay. Unless the entire thing is the picture. Okay. Like, there's only so much that I can do with having all of the elements needed on it. We got ourselves a bomb puzzle here. I don't really like these because you're supposed to hit the switch, but they also detonate. So you could get hurt while you're trying to solve the puzzle. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not a fun time. There we go. <laughs> Eep. Yeah. All right. So this is introducing something that the later levels are gonna like really harp on, and that is chain jumping. So what you gotta do is use an enemy to jump into and grab another enemy. So we're gonna like ladder it. One. Two, nope. And again, there's no pit here, so this is a good place to practice. One, two, three. There oh, we go. Oh, okay. I and see. And that's what you gotta do. Now, later levels are going to have that above, like, molten lava and Ooh. pits and stuff, so it's just, like, you get one chance. Do not miss your shot. Go. 
this opportunity comes once in a playthrough. Yo. <laughs> All right. So now we got the key. We're very low on health because of these little bomb boozles. Hey, remember whenever you took a hit and you said it's fine because you have enough health? Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean, look at my lives. We at least have that. Or is it 58? 15. No. Oh, 15. 58 are how many jewels I've, cre I've okay. uh, collected. If you get 100 jewels, you get a 1-up. Okay. The gold coins in the level are 1-ups as well. Usually in gold coins, they're just like what the gems are because of Mario. You're like, ooh, gold coins! Collect those coins! <laughs> gotcha. But this time it's jewels and coins are your 1-up. All right, so now that we have everything moving, we, okay, nothing here. Now it's time to backtrack because the whole clockwork tree is going to be active. So you're gonna see the gears turn in real time. Just you wait. It's like when I'm thinking. Yeah. People tell me all the time, they're like, I can see the wheels turning. Do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm like, listen, it takes me a minute. It's fine. Is it this one? Oh, that's cool. There we go. Come on already. Where's the room? Here it is. So see, now everything's moving. Hmm. We got motion in here. Oh, come on. Ah, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. locomotion. People on the world, insane, on a love train, love train. All right. So now we're going to go to the tippity top and find Granny. Careful, careful. Okay. Hopefully his, there's some health because we have a boss battle waiting for us at the top. His ears look like he's flapping his arms. <laughs> oh, yeah? Just like... Ah! Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. That he's like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> His actual arms are like folded in. Yeah, front of him. folded in, and like he he's wearing gloves. Oh, look at this. Ooh. You don't know this game yet, but I'm getting flashbacks from Super Mario 64. <laughs> I can only imagine. This is interesting because when we play Super Mario 64, you're gonna be like, I'm getting flashbacks from Planoa. Planoa. <laughs> Which, um, both of these games were released around the same year. Yeah. Like if you were a PlayStation guy, Klonoa. If you were a Nintendo guy, Super Mario 64. All right, here we go to the top. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh-oh. He's got her tied to a totem pole. <laughs> She's been tied to the whipping post. Oh, Lord, I feel like I'm dying. Do you ever hear that? No. It's an old, like, honky-tonk. Not really my vibe. Every once in a while comes in never. on the Ray Didio. I've never been a honky-tonk kind of girl. I don't blame you. All right, so here we go. It's time for the boss of Forlock Forest, Gelg Balm. This sucks for people who have dyslexia. Why? Gelg. I'm like, Greg. His name is Greg. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Hello, Greg. <laughs> uh, it's a big old plant monster. And how do you fight it? Now you have to attack it's from like, above. It's Crap. like a plant chicken. Chicken? You mean, it, you mean it's shell? Yeah. You see it like a chicken egg? It looks like a chicken. <laughs> like its little beak and then its little head feathers. Okay. You see it? Yeah, I could see that. No, the bo the boss is in the center. Okay. That's its shield. Gotcha. So you have to take one of these enemies and smack them right in between. Damn it. It's a l I make it sound easy, but it's actually pretty tricky. Yeah, it's all timing. So There it is. That's how you do a shot. All right. But like, yeah, it becomes tricky. It's like, hey, do you want to use this oh, jump, use shoot. this enemy to jump out of the way, or do you want to use this enemy to take the shot? Yeah. So you have a choice to make. It's do like, it. hey, I want to take the shot. Grant some more space between me and the boss, but I also want to hurt the boss, or the battle will just keep going. Yeah. 
And like after every hit, it does like a new ability or like changes. Careful. I think it was in Yoshi's Wooly World, like for the bosses, if you don't attack, they just get progressively angrier. Okay. And then they just kill you. Like you oh, can't. Wow. Ah, crap. Misjudged my jump. All right, one more shot. Uh, enemy, please. Oh, shit. E <laughs> <laughs> Just made it through that one. All right, there we go. Come on. Char! Crap. Oh. And he took my enemy with him. He just, like, ate it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, out no, the no, other no. side. Nope, that didn't count. I was just a little off. Mulligan. Little off center. Damn it. All right. One more hit for him and one more hit for me. Who's, Who's it gonna, gonna be? Yes! <laughs> I gotta say, it's very satisfying when you deliver the last strike that it says clear. You get this extra catharsis. Because, like, when you hit enemies, it goes... <laughs> I expected her to have white hair. Because she's a granny. Maybe that's her wig. Box die. <laughs> she went to Rite Aid and got the fire engine red. She called Cher and be like, hey, uh, can you hook me up here? <laughs> I'm like, kind of the sage of this forest and all. And like, the forest is no longer withered, but my hair is. So really just like, hook up with one of these wigs. She's like, girl, Please. the air is dry and so are these ends. <laughs> like. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Granny's telling us the key to the Moon Kingdom, the legend, at the Temple of the Sun. So we gotta go grab the Moon Pendant and head to the Temple of the Sun to open the gateway to the Moon Kingdom. Now, do you remember where the pendant was? No. Grandpa has it at home. Oh. So we gotta go back <laughs> home. Aw, our babies. Uh-oh. Joka overheard us. Oh lord. He's going back home to nab the moon pendant. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, now the stakes are a little higher. He's going after our home village, and we gotta return home after him. I'll be on my merry way. No, oh, good morning. Big yawn. <laughs> she did to Wesker what I do to you. He's, what? He's still there? Aww. He's still there? That's cute. <laughs> Alright, so we're taking a shortcut through the wind ruins, and that's going to be in the next part. We're going to go through the wind ruins, and hopefully make it home in time to save Grandpa. Aw, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa. Alright, folks. See you all in the next part. Toodles. Oh, Grandpa.